All right, so the Splash Zone set is out now with Tracy McGrady and uh, Chris Stops Porzingis. I mean, okay, this is what I'm looking at, though. This is the part that's alarming for me. Okay, the Splash Zone, the Go Series Tracy is out. All the Go Series are out. But this here says this release includes a 99 or 100 overall pack with an increased chance to pull a new Splash Zone and Go Series Tracy McGrady cards as well as previously, re previously released Dark Matter and 100 overall player cards available for a limited time. Now I need to understand what that means to me. Does that mean that you guys need 50 bucks? Is that like a different pack that's gonna cost 50 bucks and have a bunch of cards in it and maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get a card that I already have? I'm confused. It sounds like a watered down pack with way too many cards in it and I'm not gonna get anything good out of it. I might get something. It doesn't sound like I wanna open it. You guys are weird at this point. I mean, if not at all for the fact that you've ignored giving us Kobe Bryant, our cover athlete for months now, like we haven't had a chance to do anything that we want to do is very suspicious, very suspicious out here. I'm trying to figure out why you guys haven't given us Kobe and we're sitting around looking crazy. But um, I mean, let's go look at the player market. OK, this lock in looks like it's going to be way too expensive again. That looks like about 450, 500,000 MT. Yeah, yeah, that's about 500,000 MT. That's crazy to me. Yeah, I mean, you see, I haven't even locked this one in. I'm not on, I'm not gonna do it. You put this dark matter in here, made it very expensive to lock in, and I'm just not gonna do it. I don't, maybe if I played more of my career and got more MT per, maybe if I could make more MT, if I could have made 350,000 MT, you know what I mean? over the week i just didn't you know what i mean it just didn't work that way either way like i don't i don't even see the card that you're talking about honestly to be honest with you like you say there's a special insert sitting around here somewhere i mean i do see these or what are we really looking at though i see the regular base packs see the regular i see the regular packs here with these cards in them with the tracys you got all the tracys where are the packs that you're talking about with i don't know the packs that you mentioned in that tweet, just, I don't know. I'm confused. You've all you've done is confuse me as a, as a person who plays the game as a customer, you've successfully con confused me. So, okay. Uh, these packs, cause I see Tracy here. That's not the right Tracy. Is that the Tracy? That's goat Tracy. 100 all ball goat Tracy. Okay. So I guess it makes sense here for 50 bucks. Like I said, you can possibly get one of these 100 overall cards or you can end up with one of these cards, Dark Matters that you don't want. Ralph Sampson, Zach Levine. Maybe you want Ben Simmons. Maybe you want Yao. Maybe. Maybe you want Ignite Yao. Maybe you want Scotty Barnes. I doubt it. OK, I, it looks like they've taken out the spark cards, though, at least the. uh the bold cards and the spark cards aren't in here. You might want Chris Paul. It might make it a little beneficial if he wasn't in the packs. I mean, you guys know how to finesse, to be honest. It's another finesse. So for 199,000 VC, that's 50 bucks, roughly. And it's going to be here for two and a half days. We got three days on the clock right now, two days and 23 hours left. But I mean, eh, I, I guess. But it doesn't outweigh the risk doesn't outweigh the reward. I mean, the reward doesn't outweigh the risk at this point, if you understand what I'm saying. So not for me. It's just not for me. Honestly, it hasn't been for me. You see, I have one hundred and seventy eight thousand MT and that's what I'm about to open right now. I'm I might put twenty thousand MT with that and open a 10 box. But at that rate, I don't think I'll be doing myself a service. Um, It's just not in my. It's just not in my pocket right now. You know what I mean? 2K like you. It's not. It doesn't even interest me at this point, to be honest. All right. What interests me more is looking at. Not not closing the game, not closing up yet. You haven't got me there yet. But what interests me is looking at the splash zone. Agendas, let's look at the agendas and see what's really going on with these splashes. So I'm going to need to score 50 points in the paint with a Sparks player over multiple games. I'm going to need to win a game using five magic players. 
I'm going to need to make 50 dunks over multiple multiplayer games. I'm going to need to make 43 pointers with Opal or higher players over multiple triple threat or triple threat online or co-op games. I, I need to score 50 points in a game with a shooting guard two times. I need to make 43 pointers over multiple clutch time offline or clutch time online games. 34 pointers. I don't know if I said that backwards or forwards. I might have said 30, 40. I might have said 43 pointers, but make 34 pointers over multiple clutch time or clutch time online games. Complete the splash zone spotlight challenges. And you all know if you've been here, if you haven't been here, the spotlight challenges are right over here. If you navigate here, follow my navigations to the spotlight. Splash zone spotlights are here. There are three of them and you can get with them accordingly. Now, if you care to fumble through a few things with me, we can go over here to the playbook. Playbook is right here in the community hub. Are you going to watch the NBA draft? So NBA draft content is coming. They're gearing up for it right now. I believe the children are the future. Show them the light and let them lead the way. Um, to be honest, I'm hoping that we get a Bronny LeBron connection this year. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. A Bronny Bron connection would be nice. Would be very nice, if you ask me. To get LeBron James and Bronny James in Los Angeles. Yes, sir. As I get a badge award pack out of that, that's crazy to me. I did not want that. Either way, it is what it is. We're still here in this pack market. We're going to open up some packs. Let's... <sighs> Let's open some spark packs. Why not? Might it? No, nah, let me stop. Um, I feel like it would be only right. Throw a little, throw a little, little ten dollars. You know what I mean? MT on there. Let's open up a ten box. Why not? We might as well open this ten box. Let's look at the animations on Goat Series Tracy McGrady though. We need to see what that that splash. Actually, that splash zone at the top there. That's a good graphic. I like that graphic. Y'all did a nice one with that. Whoever drew that up. Give them a shake, shake their hand, you know what I mean? Buy them a lap dance or something, you know what I mean? Because uh, they they worked out on that. They actually worked out on that. Pack three don't have anything in it. We want to look at Kristaps Porzingis too. We're looking at that 100 overall events. I wouldn't mind getting a Dark Matter Tracy out of here. Um, I don't know though. I mean, it's no telling what's going to happen right now. Out of, out of a 10 box, you know what I mean? It's really no telling. As we get a Galaxy Oak. We get one of the lock-ins for some reason. I don't know. I mean, I would really like to get that most expensive lock-in, and then I can work my way to the last three lock-ins. But Robert Covington, okay, it's like 30K. Is he one of the 30K ones? I don't know. I would like that Dark Matter lock-in, though, just to get some video content, you know what I mean? But either way, it is what it is. Pack 6, don't have nothing in that joint. We get a Damian Lillard. We used to get that. At this point, the, the thrill is gone, you know what I mean? For the fact that we haven't seen our cover athlete and y'all holding him for season eight, it's kind of like, ugh, like, this is what y'all doing right now? <laughs> we holding Kobe until the last minute? Or even if we are, if I mean, can we even get a Kobe at this point? Are we getting him? And you trying to, like, you trying to give us the least time possible to chill with Kobe. <laughs> and I don't think that's cool at all. Is that a pink diamond? Did I just get a pink diamond out of this tin box? I'm, I'm not feeling it. Really, 2K? <laughs> you just threw me a pink diamond, Joel Embiid. Oh my gosh. Um, for some reason, I'm just not feeling y'all this week. I mean, that box, okay, that box was piss poor. So we can pull one more of these. Why not? Why not go broke for the, you know what I mean? For the, for the what the what's. You know what I mean? We might as well. As we get nothing out of that, which is crazy to me, we get an Anthony Davis, a diamond Anthony Davis. That's crappy. And then we can actually get a deluxe Regal pack with that diamond Anthony Davis. And that's what we're going to do. That's just what we're going to do. Maybe we can get us a, a goat LeBron James off the market. You know what I'm saying? We get us a Regal pack. And then we have 13,000 MT left. So do we want to pull a base splash? Why not? Why not pull some base splashes, see if we can get something to jump out of those. Maybe a Vince Carter will jump out there at us and say, rrr, little Raptor to just say, rrr. 
Nope. Nothing jumping out of that one. That's crazy. Maybe we can get a, a Chris Stapps Porzingis to pop out and show us. You know what I mean? Either way, it's, it's, these packs are kind of... I would like a... I mean, a Rudy Gay. There's a Rudy Gay in there, too. There's actually a Rudy in there. And I, I want to see what Rudy's jumper is really talking about as we get nothing out of that pack. Michael Bridges or Mitchell Robinson, excuse me. They all look the same when they start looking green. You know what I mean? When they look green like that, you can't really tell them apart. The splash on graphic is nice, though. I mean, it's the summertime, so I guess they're trying to display that. That's summertime in the, in the situation. But nothing comes out of that pack. These base packs are dry. Josh Giddy, he just got traded from Oklahoma, didn't he? Ain't it that? Ain't it like that right now? So I really would have liked to get that Corey Maggette. He's one of my favorite players, but we couldn't pull a buddy. And then we don't really have anything left to pull with. Let's go ahead and open this Regal pack. What else do we have here? We got nothing much. We don't have nothing much shaking out here. This Regal Deluxe pack might shake for us. Might shake big. Let's get a slow. Nope. We get. <laughs> Yeah, what did I expect? I expected y'all to shake something. That's crazy. Why would I expect that? 2K, tell me why would I expect anything less than another Darius Miziles? This is like my fourth Darius Miles out here. It is what it is. Yep. Um, can we exchange, bro? Add to the exchange? We can probably add him to the exchange. What does he swap for? Just two? Yeah, we're going to add him to the exchange out here. We getting close to another deluxe pack. Getting close to another deluxe pack. Might as well do that. What else we got on the docket? I mean, I showed y'all what it do. Y'all want to see a couple cards? I mean, I guess I could share with you who I think is the best card to come out of the uh, the playoff finals packs. And I think it's Jason Tatum. I think he's the smoothest card to come out of that pack drop. I feel like he has the best six. This is the shoe that I put on him. 99 three point, 99 ball handle, 99 speed, 99 speed with ball and acceleration. And I mean, it just, it works for me. I feel like he has the smoothest jumper and I feel like he has the best six to work his way to an open position. I might throw ahead and put, I might go ahead and put a couple of badges on bro just to boost up his, uh, his whoop de whoops and whatnots. You know what I mean? A little, Little workhorse, you know what I mean? Just a little, just a couple of whatnots. He is 6'8. Throw a little, little rise up on him, something like that. That's who I think is the best card out of that drop. But if we go ahead and look at these cards that just dropped today, I want to say Goat Tracy McGrady. You know, he's 99 all over. You know what I mean? The tendencies are, tendencies look okay. Drive and dunk tendency. The tendencies don't look as good as Jalen Brown's. I'm not going to hold you. 95 shot, 95 touch, uh, contested jumper three, step back mid is 80, 85, 93 point shot. He could, these could be a little higher. He could be a little better out of the tendencies. I'm not going to hold you. Animations, Tracy McGrady, upper releases, Oscar. Um, I don't know what that flows like though. 15 dunk packages is thick. That's a thick dunk package system. Trey Young escape. That's nice. Um, we looking at John Wall moving step back. I would have liked that to be, I would have liked that to maybe be Steve, Stephen Curry. Yeah. I would have liked that to maybe be Stephen Curry. Um, pro two leaner joke, Joker hop jumper. If that's what y'all like Kyrie dribble style, Ky Kawhi motion style. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like those sigs. But buddy says not again. What are they really saying? You got to get on triple threat online to do the ball drop, my G. Uh, T Mac goat card before Kareem R Magic. Like I get it, he's a fan favorite of my team, but I don't understand why he deserves one. He was an amazing player, but not more deserving of a card than a lot of people. I mean, if that's your sentiment, I can I can dig it. I can dig it. Who else we want to look at over here? We got Rudy Gay over here. 96 three-point shot. That's kind of tough. That's lower than I was really expecting. 40 Hall of Fame badges, 31 gold ones. 
Uh, 95 speed acceleration, 98 vertical, 98 driving dunk, 95 ball handle. Okay. Can he move though? Can he move with the ball? Trey Young escape, John Wall moving step back, 13 dunk packages, pro two leaner. I guess. I guess. I mean, his jump shot should be smooth. I'm not going to hold you. So I'm not mad at it. Let me see who else we want to look at. We want to look at Tingus. We want to look at Vince. I do want to look at Carl. I'm not going to hold you. We want to look at Tracy's 99 Dark Matter card. Um, We want to look at Tracy's Galaxy Opal card, too. And I'm not going to lie. I do want to look at Corey Maggetti. Galaxy Cole, Corey. We have a Chet Holmgren in here, too. Okay, so we got a lot of cards to actually look at if y'all want to flow with me. 57 Hall of Fame badges on 100 overall events. What are the, are the SIGs the same though? The animations are a little bit different, I think. Stephen Curry escape. Ah, we might have one here. Okay, so the Vortex Vents, the Vortex Vents had, okay, maybe just the dribble style. The moving step back, the moving step back is different. Different spin, okay. Okay, but he they both have the Steph and the Curry escape. Signature size up is on, still on Derrick Rose. I don't remember really having too hard of a time moving with bro, but I don't know. I, I have to jump back on the court with him. So the dribble style change, that's about it, to be honest. Couple of sigs changed, moving step back changed, uh, moving spin changed. I don't think that's, I don't, Vince wasn't too bad to play with, to be honest. He was a good defender, I feel like, good a good frame. Hopefully that this new 100 overall card has the better frame in order to get Wiggly with too. But uh, Chris Stops, 7'3", uh, I mean, come on. What else could they do but monetize, bro? At 7'3", they had to monetize, Brody. 99 everything, badge is looking pretty good. Um... The animations, though. Tracy McGrady signature size up. Kimba Walker escape. Okay. Steph Curry moving step back. Just for having those two, I'm going to call bro the one that you want. As far as just having a center power forward on the court, on the floor, you could put him at the four and he's going to move. Just with that Kimba Walker escape and that Stephen Curry uh, moving step back, you can step back into a three all day. Giannis moving crossover. The pro combo and breakdown will be okay. The pro behind the back, I mean, my it should be okay. You're not really, you're not really gonna spam those too much. You're not gonna move too much with those, but they can get you into a position to get open. Um, Chris Paul, moving hesitation, it's not bad. He does have a normal leaner though, and then we see 12 dunk packages with long athlete layup package. Splash zone Chris Stops actually looks like a win. Looks like you can floor him. He's a win. Not, not, I'm not going to hold you. Carl Malone? I don't know. I don't know. A 6'9", small forward, power forward. I don't like it. A 95 three-point shot. 99 driving, inside scoring. The ball handle is 90. Speed with ball is 97. Athleticism is looking good. He has 98 speed. 95 acceleration. The defense is looking upper 90s too. That's good, honestly. If you want to throw him at the three, honestly, it might work, but I don't know what his jumper hits like. And then he he does have Kimba. Kimba escape. He does have Steph's moving step back. So, I mean, that counts for a little bit as far as being able to just wiggle your way into a three-pointer. Giannis moving crossover. Five dunk packages. And then LeBron James layup package. Carl Malone looks okay. Looks okay. I'm not frowning at him. Let's look at Tracy McGrady. His 99 overall dark matters. The little five dark matters that they give him. Um, 40 Hall of Fame badges, 30, 30 gold badges, 98 three point shot. That's not bad. 97 ball handle. Defense is at 97 perimeter, 97 lateral, 95 steal. It's a little bit slower than I thought he would be. 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 98 driving dunk. What are the six? Are they the same? Kyrie dribble style, elite motion style, Tracy McGrady size up, 
Kimba Escape again. The moving step back is on Chris Paul, though. I don't know about that Chris Paul moving step back. I really don't have no input on that. You got to let me know in the comment section. Is that is that the wave or not? So the 99 Dark Matter Tracy is, I don't know. <laughs> you have to. The Opal one, though, 96 three-point shot, 95 ball handle, 94 speed with ball. This looks a little bit, eh, it's, that's mid. It's mid. It's a Galaxy Opal. It's mid. 27 Hall of Fame badges, 37 gold ones. If we want to look at the animations, are they the same? No, this one has pro escape moves. This one has Chris Paul step back. This one has Kobe's breakdowns. Yeah, this is, uh, he does have 15 dunk packages and a default swing layup package. Yeah, that, that Galaxy Opal is, uh, that's nasty. Corey Maggetti, let's, let's check him out. He's one of my favorite players ever, legacy players, 27 Hall of Fame badges, 34 gold ones, a 92 three-point shot. I mean, he could be something if you want to put him in, you know, salary cap, say salary cap player, maybe 88 ball handle. Low end, I mean, you, if you look through that, that's kind of trash. It looks kind of trash. Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry's escape moves, pro Everything down low looks pro. That's nasty. That's pretty nasty. Kevin Knox upper release. David Robinson lower base. What are you supposed to do with that? 12 dunk packages and Michael Jordan's layup. Okay. I got Corey McGetty looking crazy out here. Chet Holmgren. Splash zone Chet Holmgren though. A seven foot one center power forward. 40 Hall of Fame badges. 36 gold badges. 96 three-point shot is okay. That's all right. 86 ball handle, 93 speed with ball, 95 driving dunk, 95 standing. Mid, 95 defense, 97 help defense IQ. Slow, 94 speed, 90 acceleration, 97 vertical, 97 rebounding. So that would need a shoe if you want to put him out there. Um, You're not going to look for him to get too wiggly. He does have Stephen Curry's escape. We got Stephen Curry. On the escape again. So Stephen Curry's been all around here. John Wall step back. Seven dunk packages. Default swing layup. Chet Holmgren is, I mean, he's looking like a dud, but but he is 7-1. I don't know. Power 44, he's looking like a dud to me. But um, if you pull him, play him. That's That's my advice. If you pull this card, play it. Because he's lanky, you know what I mean? So I would want to say the best card out of this drop right now, besides, you know, GOAT, Tracy McGrady, if we're looking at like cards that we just might really pull or have a higher chance of pulling, I don't know. I would want to say Chris Tops, Tingus, the Pingus is actually the one. Our Vince Carter might be it, you know what I mean? But um, I don't know. Take my advice with a grain of salt because, you know, I'm, I'm not too bright. But to have Kimber Walker escape and John Wall moving step back, this 100 Tracy's not too bad. Not too bad at all. What did they give the, uh, the GOAT again? GOAT has Trey Young escape with John Wall moving step back. So I think that Trey Young escape one might be, might be the one. Trey Young escape might be the one to go for. I mean, I might be, I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with Trey Young Escape at this point. I don't think I've used it a lot lately. I'm really, I'm really honestly, I've been, oh yeah, no, Trey is the one. Trey Young is the one. It's actually the one, the Escape move that I like. One of the Escape packages that I like. Um, I mean, I really do like Stephen Curry's though. I like Steph Curry's over everybody. So it is what it is though. Take my advice with a grain of salt because I'm not that guy. You that guy. Remember that. You're him. You always have been. Um, like this video. Subscribe to the page, bro. We're about to get out of here. Y'all go home. Kobe! Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.